Wow. Do you remember the first time you showed the plan? Huh? Were you nervous? I was. And I got to tell you, I'm about as nervous as I've ever been since the first time I showed the plan because what I'm going to show you is going to set in motion the same thing that that first plan did. Uh, <clears throat> now, I need your best receiving receptor mind to allow things to come in and light bulbs to go off. Because you got to get either the logic or the math of this. You don't need to get both today, but you got to get one. And it reminds me of the story about back in the day when Dennis was playing ball and was an All-American. At Notre Dame University, they had a quarterback called Terry, whose name was Terry Unratty. And they were in the national championship, and he was failing math and logic. You can understand that for a quarterback, right? So the Board of Trustees decided we have to have him in the game. Let's get a Jesuit priest professor to tutor him. So they sat down, Terry, and said, Terry, the national championships at stake. You must play in this game, and you were failing math and logic. I know you can't pass logic. Let's try math. Terry, there's five flies on the table. Three fly away. How many are left? Beads of perspiration break out on his forehead. He says, uh, well, none, for Professor, none. He said, Terry, come on, how can you be so brilliant on the field yet so stupid in the classroom? Terry, five flies on the table, three fly away. How many are left? He said, but Professor, none. He says, how can, can't you see? There's five flies on the table, three fly away. There's two left. He said, Professor, I lived on a farm, and I know if three flies fly away, so do the other two. There's none. <laughs> He says, you fail math, but you pass logic, you can play in Saturday's game. <laughs> I want you to be able to play in this game, so get one of them. I'm about to reveal to you what I believe is the greatest masterpiece we've ever created, even more so, Frank, than the perfect binomial system or plan. It's revolutionary. We invented the binary system. We made it into the binomial system. If you wonder what the difference is, binomial has regenerated volume. It's not about selling spots, it's about volume. Sales, they repeat, they produce residual income. It's more powerful than the binary or binomial system, more powerful than the unfranchised system in NMTSS. I'll say it's next level matrix. It's binomial on steroids. It's MPCP, atomic energy, so be careful. <laughs> it's not a game changer, it's a new game. You ready? <laughs> and I'll tell you why it's a new game. Everyone in here can have a BDC completed earning $1,500 or $3,600 a week. Now, that sounds like... <laughs> a pontification. Here's why. Everybody in here has a common, strong leg. Isn't that true? Is there anyone that doesn't? <laughs> Only if you're brand, brand new. And no one is going to put people in your weak leg or build it, are they? Is that true? So remember when you first started and how powerful it was when it took off with the leaders, and then they just kept going down that leg, and you had this other dangling leg, and that's why you're not getting a check every week. True or false? Okay. This is going to allow to have what happened in the beginning in that common leg happen again in the weak leg. Think back to what happened in the beginning. It's about to happen over on the other side. And it can and will happen in your other leg fast. It's magic. It's magic. 
Before I show this, I want to give some thanks for this masterpiece. First, uh, <coughs> Joe Boyard, EVP of International, who has put his brain power and his passion into solving this. Um, incredible job. Samantha Ritchie, who is an incredible genius uh, commission programmer. To Mark Ashley for playing devil's advocate. In order for something to work, you have to figure out why it might not work in order to make sure it does work. And he sure did do that for us. Andrew Weissman for listening to it for a thousand times to make it simpler. The IT team, like <laughs> and, uh, Chris Pe Petticore, Michael Brady, of the IT team with Samantha Richie, I'd like to thank you in advance for using your greatest genius in problem solving to make this happen faster. <laughs> um, now, so we're becoming a global opportunity with the unified global MPCP. The world has discovered us. And uh, this is going to bring more money than anything you've ever seen since the beginning of the company. You have to understand that Market America was built as a one country at a time model from the beginning. And over the last two years, we have retooled and changed our thinking, our objectives, our infrastructure, our plan, our internet sites, architecture and design, our product selection and distribution, the tracking of volume, and the MPCP and the UBP to expand internationally and to be a global company. And this year, it's a reality. So some key points about this program is it's a total system. First, you have globalshop.com. Wasn't that incredible? As Mark showed, you can sell products anywhere in the world. Then we establish regions and combine the plan. So you're going to have three regions with all countries in that region and one BV bank, one plan, so that you can combine Hong Kong, Taiwan, Australia. You know, if we're Singapore's an EMP, it'll go in there, and et cetera. And just think, in America, okay, Mexico is America too. South America is America too. Canada is America too. So you can cross-pollinate and find people, and it all combines together. For expansion, okay, the EMP Emerging Market Program allows you now to seed other countries and make them distributors to earn commissions without us actually being there. But you have to treat it like a group at a distance because there's not an NMTSS. When you get enough people there, everything will be put in place. The global unification of regions through connecting each UFO's MPCP using IRCs, and the IRC is an international reentry center, just like a reentry is in the American plan from the beginning. And this allows you, listen carefully, to earn twice on new business built by connecting plans uh, and BVIB where it's needed in the MPCP at home to complete and earn on your BDCs and also earn on new centers in Europe uh, or the new region at the same time. And finally, you'll be able to max out with the global center if you have more than one p person doing that. If many people in your group are doing that, it'll complete the centers at home, they'll earn on the re-entry in Europe or what, whatever country, and then they'll earn again on the global center. Incredible. Okay, so fundamentally what's happened is we unified the different regions to combine all the BV bank into one for each region so that you can build faster and get everybody cross-pollinating and work together. Uh, the EMP works to allow you to expand in other countries that we're not in and dump that BV, pump that BV back in to your home country, to your current BDCs. It combines BV and IBV in all countries within a region. So listen, there's 30 million Mexican-Americans. They all know people in Mexico. Hey, what are you waiting for? Uh, you know, so uh, combine the BV and IBV of all regions together to accrue where needed by each UFO and capture all BV and IBV from three regions globally so we can combine them together in the different regions and use the strong common leg to complete the weak leg. 
that you already have. And you're not going to do that alone because it's just like you didn't do it alone when you started. The upline wanted to make money. <laughs> and they did it with you. And that created what you have in the common leg. Now it's going to happen again and be moved to the weak leg. Are you getting this? Is that billionth of a volt go off? And then the IRCs internationally allows everybody to weave together, working together synergistically with a group where everybody has an economic interest to earn now in Europe, at home, so that they're working with you. If your upline who's making hundreds of thousands of dollars could quickly complete another center and earn twice, and you were going to earn on your weak leg, complete your weak leg by doing that, don't you think it would happen? Okay, so, so it's a revolutionary new global plan that uh, ties the BV banks from two regions together, and you can take the BV bank and the common leg, strong leg, the re-entry leg in another region, Europe or uh, America, vice versa, and tie the BV to your weak leg so that you earn. Fundamentally allows you to earn on a center and complete existing ones at the same time. It levers the earning power to create strategies of everybody working together. And it's very similar to re-entries. You know how re-entries work? Just imagine a re-entry in another country, but it's not in the same leg. You tie it back to the weak leg. So uh, there's three magic solutions in this that are very important. This allows every UFO to cross-pollinate in another region from their home country's region using an international re-entry IRC, which operates like a normal BDC, similar to re-entry, when placed in a country in another, uh, other, another region. It allows you to complete a leg at home, though, at the same time. So just like when you build a re-entry, when you build two legs, it earns you a check. But it also affects a leg upline and everybody upline. Well, this is in another country, but it ties back to the, the other leg. It solves the lack of incentive and negative incentive to cross-pollinate and expand in other countries, and eliminates the barriers to resistance to enter into other countries and regions, uh, requiring activation of two qualified distributors. So that global center thing of having to be an, uh, an executive coordinator, get two legs, qualify the center, buy a kit or a sub, it's all gone. So everybody has a reason to do it. So here's typically how your business works. You start to build, <coughs> and you end up with a weak and strong leg. Now this is why a lot of people say, why don't we just unify in one bank the whole world and have all the BV combined together? Have you ever thought that? Here's why. Two reasons. One, it doesn't work. Two, you make less money. Is that good enough? Because the power builders that are going to go to the other country that you would need if you're not earning on all your centers to hold meetings, get the people in and help, and they can afford to go. You might not be able to afford to go yet, but you might be able to find people there. Uh, it would do them no good because they're already maxed out on most of their top centers that that volume would come up in. So they would get overflow and not earn anymore. So here's how it works. Most of us have a weak leg. Everybody has a weak leg. And the lower level distributors focus on building on their weak leg. They don't want you to leave to go to the other country because it doesn't benefit them. True or false? Okay. So if we unified all the volume, in Europe, in Asia, in America together, the people who build it, when that flows up from all the countries, wouldn't earn anything because their top center is already maxed out. See the green? So why would they do it? And so when you have your business in America, there's a way to take your organization in America and find people in Taiwan or Hong Kong from your organization, because the same genealogy exists there. 
And that's exactly what our Chinese leadership did in America. They had teams of people that had relatives, friends, new people, they networked, and so they took their American organization and seeded, without adding new people, using their current people to find people there, to seed it and get people in and get volume, and that all went up, but because it was a different bank, it earned them a different check. Everybody understand that? That was an accident. We had 25% Asian in America. They had teams, they knew people there, so it was automatic. They just put those people in. <clears throat> but that's not going to happen for everybody around the world. Would you agree with that? Okay, and so uh, you have to get a global center, okay, under that program, and you can use your current group to find people there, <laughs> but it's more expensive to do it and not everybody's going to do it. Isn't that true? Proof, how many people have groups in Australia? How many people have groups in the UK or Europe here in this room? And it's because of that that it won't work, and here's how it is going to work, because we came up with a genius solution. Okay, so you take, in this discussion, the BV and IBV, uh, both do the same thing and work exactly the same. So I'm going to say BV, but it means IBV too. It works exactly the same. And instead of saying unified American market and unified European uh, market, I'm just going to say Americas or Europe. But everybody has a home country already. You agree with that? You got to be somewhere. That's your home country. And then there's a new region. So when I talk about Americas and Europe, America's a home country and Europe is the new region. In the future, that could be America and Asia, or Asia could be your home country, and it could be Europe, or uh, you know, uh, somebody could be in Europe as their home country doing it in America. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, great. Everybody, as soon as this program launched in their back office, will have an IRC already there, available to you. So your team should look at their teams and figure out the best way, the best strategy to use the IRCs together. So you start out, you have your group growing, and you're going to place the re-entry in Europe, and you, your people, and through cross-pollinating and networking, are going to find people in Europe. Okay? And that gets attached to your weak leg. You hear that, right? So when we start to build in Europe, and you may not be going there in the beginning, but somebody is, okay, that volume rolls up to the IRC toward the check, but it's connected to your weak leg. So the volume goes up, connects to your organization to earn checks to help you complete it. Okay, so we build over in Europe, it comes across, and it connects up to help you earn in America. Now, when you have four or five people doing that, you take that red triangle there and multiply it times five, it can be happening very quickly. Can you see that? Okay, so in addition to this, there's a UGC, so that when you have more than one person doing that, Keith, and more than one leg, it's going to roll up to, they'll earn in Europe, they'll roll up and complete your BDCs in America, but then it qualifies your universal center to earn again. And you'll see this. So in building your organization, you have a, a genealogy or an organization in America. It's transparently overlaid already in Europe and Asia. Okay, so uh, the BV in a region is separate and accrues separately to earn a check there. Okay, so uh, we're going to place our IRC, we're, we're succeeding in America, you're going to place in the weak leg where you need, you're working to complete it, and uh, it's like a re-entry, you're going to put it in Europe. So you place it connect where you need it to complete where you're working. Does everybody understand that? <clears throat> and we start to build. Now, that may be done as a team, just not you. When we did this in UK, you couldn't bring your team in on it. 
here you can. And um, so, <clears throat> in your American genealogy, that center exists with no bank as a placeholder to, to keep the linkage together of the genealogy. Everybody understand that? Okay, so we start to build with real people now in the UK that are coming in and doing the business that we're working with. Okay, so we're going to tie it back from the target region of Europe back to the home country of America. So as we build in Europe towards earning a check there in pounds, you can earn in pounds now, eventually euros for Spain. Now, wherever a new BDC is created, it's reflected over here, and we now are going to be able to connect that volume back to where we need it, just like a re-entry. And it, you see that? It flows up the line. Everybody gets credit and completes your top centers that you need, your one or your two or your three. The European volume is stored in your top center until it's over 5,000. Everything over 5,000 goes back to the UGC for you to earn on multiple centers that exist in Europe. And I'll show you this in a minute again. So you start to build in Europe. Everybody get this? Not just you alone, but a whole team that's going to benefit. Just like your strong leg or common leg in the US. But while you're doing that, it's still growing in America. The meetings haven't stopped down that leg. So you see the placeholder. Where's that thing? You see the placeholder right there, which represents that. But the business in America is still growing up that leg. Everybody understand that? Okay. So when I connect this back, when I connect this back to here, just like a re-entry, Okay. Not only am I getting this volume going up, but this connects here, so this volume that's earning there is going to blow back up as American BV right there. So let's watch it. There goes the BV right up. You earn there through the money bag. It goes over, connects here. Everybody benefits in between. It completes your 002 or 001. And whoops. And you get money there, you earn there. Now, you don't need to rem remember all this. It's all on a PowerPoint webinar with Andrew and me going over it, an hour and a half in great detail with every rule. And uh, uh, <coughs> so you got the webinar, and next week we'll have a meet on, interactive meeting on it. So as you're doing this, your group is still growing in America. You're building here to earn a check with other people helping you. <laughs> and let's see what happens. So the volume being built down here flows up. Everybody gets credit for it. We connect the IRC to your weak leg. <laughs> so these are real people here building in Europe. And you're going to earn a check there. But when it connects back, everybody in between is seeing this BV come in every week. And that gets them closer to the check. Okay? And then at the top, your 001 or 002 that still needed some volume to qualify every week and maybe not just once a month, gets that volume to be completed and hit. So you're earning 1,500 to 3,600 combined. There goes the volume up. You see that, right? The volume goes up in Europe, you earn there, then all the way up, and you earn in America. OK, so. In cross-pollinating, there's something called zippering. A lot of times I'll go to the UK to start a business, and I'll get a, a referral there, and I start with that person, and because somebody in America gave me their name when I started with them, they probably know somebody back in America because somebody knew them. They refer somebody in America, put them in. That person ends up tearing it up. You thought you were going to build in Europe, but it ended up building in America. Does everybody understand that? And so this happens all the time. And so you have your volume that's going up. You're still building there. But you had a distributor right here, Tom, in Europe that knew somebody in Mexico. 
So they placed their IRC in Mexico and the Americans, right? And they're going to connect that there. The volume flows up, just like you did in a step before, but the other direction. <clears throat> so they're connecting that there to earn in America. And they're going to connect it back to where they need it in their weak leg in Europe. So you're building in America, that's going up, but this IRC of a European flows back to complete their center in Europe earning money, okay? It flows up to your IRC because they were under you to help you earn, and you connected it back again to America to flow up to earn here. So you have this action and this action all going up there to help you earn. You getting that? So when this happens back and forth, it happens very quickly. If you have two or three of those things happening, it's just a, a months before you're hitting and completing your center at home too. So look at this. What happens when you complete a re-entry? Huh? What happens when you complete a re-entry? You get another one. Well, you completed this one. It solidified and completed your 001 and 002. So now you get a second IRC. You'd probably put it on the other side. You have a weak leg on the inside here. This leg's strong. You're in your 01. Your weak leg's on the inside the 002. We put another IRC here. We're going to connect it back now the same way we did the 001, but in the other weak leg, the next weak leg. The volume flows up. You earned another check here, just like you earned a check there. And the volume then connects back to America. And what happens? The volume then flows up to your 002 to earn again. Does everybody see that? Okay, so don't worry about remembering it all. You're going to go home and study it and put your strategy together. So first, you have to understand how the IRC works like a re-entry, then how it comes back and finishes your BDCs. But what happens when you have several people in your organization because they get the same benefit doing it too, but they don't do it under your IRC because they need to buy them somewhere else? Think about that. Well, here's how it works. Okay? You first understand how this and this works. You're earning from this going back here, but how do you earn up here on these two legs? Well, the same way you're going to earn on other people, and I'll show you what I mean. You have a UGC. When the centers here that these were connecting to are completed, doing over 5,000, you use the European volume first to get them to 5,000. If they're already at 5,000, you don't need any European volume, right? If you have three or four people in a leg with IRCs in the same leg, they're all doing more volume. The leg's over 5,000 very quickly. So as soon as you get to 5,000 with American and European volume, any European volume that isn't needed to get it to 5,000 goes back to your UGC to earn again on those two centers up here. So watch this. So now you're building down here. And that, now, there is your one, your two. You had the guy in uh, uh, Tom over in Europe that started over here in America. And now you have other people that are going to do the same thing. So you have a distributor in your left leg, somebody here, here, and here, and say, hey, I wanted in on this party too. And so they come in, but they're not under your IRC, are they? Everybody see that? That person isn't, that person isn't. This one is. So this one is not an issue because you're earning on what they do here. Everybody see that? Right? But what about this one, this one, and this one? The people inside the triangle are outside of your IRC uh, field, downline. Does everybody see that? So what happens? Well, the ones that are blinking connect back just like you do to complete their legs to earn in America. Now think about this. When you have people that are in your organization that are in other legs, 
that end up completing their centers and earning, it strengthens your business because they got to earn in order to have stability. And if it's not earning every week, it's going to make it earn every week so that you're earning more. So you do benefit. Everybody get that? But now that it has come back, okay, that volume's coming back, it causes people to earn. First, in Europe, see the money bags? And then uh, this volume that you were already building in America is flowing up, and the yellow lines are adding to it now. And so they start completing their centers here and earn. Uh, very quickly, you're over five and five here, so any volume coming from here, this European volume to get this to five and five, your top three centers, flows back so that you earn on them again. Does everybody see that? Powerful. So, uh, so let's see it in action. You built your two re-entries. This was your first, this was your second, okay? Then you had other people do it. They place their IRCs in Europe, and the volume flows up. Where you're building with real people, you earn there and there. These guys do the same thing. Everybody has connected it back just like you did. So that volume then flows up, and it fills up this bank. You're earning on these centers, but that's filled up. So you earn again on that action here. Pretty powerful, right? <laughs> so uh, when it exceeds 5,000, it goes back. And you're not going to need very much European volume when you have five people in a leg doing it or two people doing it. It's already over five. Or you already have a cook leg, as you call it, that has 5,000 in it. From America, you don't need any of that volume. OK, so uh, you do have to be a coordinator prior to the UGC collecting volume in your home country with home country volume. That's a rule. But that's easy. You already did it anyway in this process. Okay? Uh, so look at it again. This is pretty marvelous. This is like, uh, ma uh, this is like a mer miracle in motion. There goes the volume up your first RIC to earn, just like a re-entry. Then it happened in your second. You see the volume accumulated up. Then we connect back. Everybody connects back their IRCs to America. They earn in Europe on their IRC from building it. The volume connects back to their weak leg, completed their legs here. You see the money bags. And then when it fills up, just like I showed in the last step, okay, uh, it flows back to the UGC to earn again. And again, it's all on a PowerPoint. A few things about the UGC, the volume is transferred uh, from one to one, two to two, three to three when they fill up. So you can do it three times. Everything over 5,000 from Europe's IRCs that went back to complete your BDCs is what goes back. It has to be over 5,000. Now that's a weekly transfer because there's no way to do it until you know if the leg's over 5,000. But you get all the extra, everybody understand that. Okay, and uh, UGC reaches uh, a MPCP bracket each week, whatever bracket it's at, from that flow back weekly, you'll earn at that bracket on the UGC, just like you do in the regular plan. Do you understand that? Okay. Uh, I know it's a lot to absorb. It's kind of like being at the plan for the first time. Okay, so let's just look at a quick summary. Everybody, you know, uh, when they sign up, gets a... Uh, 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 three development centers, business development centers, right? They also get a re-entry, and they have the right to open a UGC once they're at coordinator to collect on that volume that's going back from Europe to America. So let's take a look at it from a single point of view. I was showing it you from a group point of view. This is from, from just your point of view. Okay, so uh, here's your group. You have a weak and a strong side. You put an IRC in and team up to build it. The volume flows up, you would earn there. It goes on up, everybody benefits it, and it completes your weak side. Your strong side's not an issue. Now watch this amazing quadruple play, just so you can get the power of this and the strategies that can be worked, okay? Uh, watch this now. You have a dangling 
Reentry. How many people have a dormant, abandoned reentry where you thought you had a strategy that was going to work, but it, it didn't come off? Somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. Uh, the growth was somewhere else, and it's sitting there on a common solid leg. It's valuable real estate, but you just haven't got to it because you don't have the time to build another leg, right? How many people have one of those? You connect the IRC to the weak or to the, the weak side of the, of the dangling dormant reentry. It's strong here, lots of business down here. That's yours, nothing's happening with it. You connect the IRC to the weak side, you earn on the IRC in Europe, it feeds the weak side, completes that, it's solid as rock then, wouldn't it be? Okay, so you're earning there, the volume continues on up. If you weren't earning every week here, it would contribute to that, that center to make it earn every single week and max out. So you're getting paid in the other country, you're getting paid in the home country, it helps this center. And then you have another builder that wants to do the same thing, but they need to complete a leg on the other side. That's where they're weak, but they're a builder. So they go over to London with you, you're in the same town, you're in opposite legs, but you work together, you work combinations, okay? So they're doing the same thing there, working combinations. You have two legs that would be earning in Europe, completing each person's respective leg in America, and then feeding back to the UGC, left and right, to earn again. It's magic. Wow, you earn four times. A few points to wrap it up, okay? Every, here's, here's, thank you, here's 10 points that you want to focus on and learn to make your strategies, to earn fast. Every UFO has a home country already, right? And they got a weak leg. Analyze where that is and how it's in relationship to other people. Second, you earn twice on the business built in Europe. Team up, work together. Everybody doesn't have to go right away because somebody else has an incentive, just like they did in the beginning on that common leg, to make it happen. The home country weak leg side of the BDC can be a strong leg for you and the upline in a very short period of time. It becomes the second strong leg because they're building it like they built your original common leg. I hope you get that. You'll catch it on the way home. Teams with the same weak side. Teams with the same weak side. Teams with the same weak side. It's not in a common leg. Can team up together to go over and work together to complete a leg there and earn, and it completes their leg at home. Another strategy is very powerful, okay? Uh, it's like a re-entry. I call it a double whammy. You know how a re-entry can be a double whammy? You build business once, but it counts for the re-entry to earn, and it completes a leg upline, right? Okay, six. Come on, let's move. Uh, IRC team strategies and synergy strength in numbers. Incredible strategies here. Because you got two banks to work with, more permutations to connect. Okay? Uh, I know uh, James Quo will become an engineer at this. And don't have to go there to start. Don't think you have to go there to start. We'll teach you how to beat the bushes and find people there. And you get it started, and somebody's going there because it's now that strong common leg. And when you're ready, you can go over there, but it's completing your leg at home. And they may bring somebody in at home cross-pollinating the other way, zippering, that blows up your business, lights a fire in the basement at home. You need people, you don't have any people. Same faces, same group, same routine. Everybody that you know knows you're in. They're not getting in, okay? They're mentally constipated. You need a new circle of influence, okay? Triple play with dangling re-entries or a dormant abandoned re-entry. Zippering back and forth is like a generator. That person then that goes, comes back to the U.S. is blowing it up. No, somebody else in Europe. And you got, you got to have people building over there. All of a sudden, it takes off. Then they know somebody back in the U.S. The person back in the U.S. knows somebody back there. 
and all of a sudden it explodes, feeding your legs. And then the IRC uh, quadruple whammy is what I showed up there when you use a dangling re-entry. It uh, completes you uh, uh, an earning in Europe, your home country, BDC gets fed, the re-entry earns, and it goes back to the UGC to earn again. Anybody that's making $187,000 a year in this room, I just made you $300,000 more. <laughs> Other IRCs from your organization can cross-pollinate too. That solidifies your organization at home because they're now earning checks every week. Do you understand that? <laughs> and <laughs> UGC turbochargers is when you have legs that are already over 5,000 in the U.S. or three or four IRCs in a common leg over in Europe working together. There's enough BV, European BV and American BV that they don't need any European BV. So it all goes right back to the UGC to earn again. And incredible. So don't worry about understanding all this. It's like the UBP or the MPCP. If you don't understand it the first time, it takes three times. Don't really get it anyway. Remember when you got into business? You really didn't get it anyway until you showed the plan or maybe even until you earned a check. Just do it and you'll earn a check. Okay, and uh, you didn't really understand balancing. Remember when you got in? You didn't understand balancing. You didn't understand placing volume downstream for everybody to hit. You didn't understand the power of supervisory entry load, building two solid legs. You were halfway there on the others. You didn't understand requirements or re-entry, but you sure are glad now that it was there. You know? And the next step becomes obvious. Just like when you first get in, you don't understand re-entry, you don't need to. You know that you need to get two people. You know that you need to qualify your center. And then as you build, you know that you got a weak leg and you got to get more business in there. It works the same way. It becomes so obvious. And your upline senior partner or mentor does know or will know because there's so much money in it for them, they will make sure that it works for you. And there's a webinar and link that presents all of this. Okay, so become a global opportunist with the Unified Global MPCP by joining us in this magic moment because everybody in this room that participates can be earning a check every week by next year. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's magic. Atomic energy. Atomic energy. Uh, now, I have 45 minutes to do an hour in. I have 45 minutes to do an hour in. The next, the next thing you've heard about but you do not understand yet. Now, is that a fair statement? You do not know what you do not know. Sometimes when you're shown something and now you do know about it but you don't really know it. Today I want you to know it because this is not a game changer. I would say it's a new game. And in 45 minutes, I want you to at least understand it, comprehend it. It's, is it magic? Yes. It's definitely miraculous. And so pay attention. There's three levels of, of monetization in our plan. There's three levels of monetization. Pay to shop and share for you and your customers. It's real money, it adds up. It's extra spending money. It's bait for, for our customers that feed the MPCP for you. And it benefits you. But then there's the shopping annuity. Now listen carefully. Before any customers or retail, you are in business and so is each UFO on your team. Now if you were being paid 1% interest in an investment vehicle or 1% interest in a bank and there was a way to get 10% interest, would you move your money and do something about it? That's totally analogous to what I'm showing you. Same concept. Money in the bank invested, earning residual income or interest. You got it in the wrong game. 
And I'm going to show you how to change that. So you convert spending into earning. If you're only converting 10% of your spending into earning, you should be looking to convert 50 to 100% of it so that you get 10% interest rather than one. It doesn't cost you any more money. This is bright. MPCP is a third one based on use, building the base 10, seven strong with customers uh, and, uh, and share of customers, retail profits, residual income, BV, IBV, and IBV advertising bonus all come together to be earning you weekly checks. Do you agree with that? Okay, so here is a definition of a, a, an annuity. And by the way, Andy Wall, I know that they do not have annuities in Europe. And first, I was concerned about that when you brought, me, brought it up to me. Now I love it because we have something that nobody has heard of that's magical. So now they have to learn, what is this shopping annuity? You see, because uh, when they think they already know what it is, they don't pay attention. This is the new magic for the European economy. And it's our payback for you, to you for us screwing it up. <laughs> but uh, a money, listen now, a money annuity is a financial contract between you, you keep hearing this term, I want you to understand it today. It's a financial contract between you and an insurance company. The purchase of an annuity with a certain amount of money called a premium, which can be a lump sum or fixed payments or contributions. In return, the insurance company agrees to provide you a stream of income or retirement and with sometimes with certain benefits in the contractual term. The insurance company is supposed to guarantee the annuity. The annuity is an asset and pays a sum of money for you over a variable period of time annually. Normally, an annuity is funded by investment or income to produce a compounding effect that can be drawn on later as residual income. The problem is most people, listen, do not have income uh, or discretionary income to pay in. They're just making ends meet in this economy. Isn't that true? Okay. And the financial markets are not yielding enough return anyway for it to really work. You get that? So here, you do not have to invest anything, but it works just like an annuity. You and your group and customers do not have to pay anything in or invest anything. It's funded in the MPCP by spending that you're already spending, but you save money on from your shopping and it funds the annuity. You already have that money because you're already spending it. Boy, that, that's got, that light bulb's got to go off. That billionth of all has got to hit you. Normally, okay, so we simply redirect our, their shopping or purchasing and buying through your shop.com shopping portal. You transfer the dollars spent with other vendors, other stores other than shop.com into your business and shopping funds and shopping annuity uh, generate weekly checks. In a way, you fund the shopping annuity like you would fund a regular annuity with investment with spending, spending, money that you're already spending every month counts for the annuity. And what you, you, and you saved on that spending. You didn't spend more, you spent less, you saved money. Do you get that? So, uh, and on an immediate return of cash back, you get discounts, you get immediate retail profits, and you get commission checks. My point is, using your spending to fund the annuity is a good thing. We're not asking you to spend more, you're saving money from it and making out. So we're doing people a favor. You put it in the MPCP to accrue towards residual income. I want to tell you what the real pay to shop program is. It's not the cash back to the customers. That's bait, like fishing. That's like a magnet that attracts, you know, some customers for you that go into the MPCP. The real pay to shop program for UFOs 
It's the MPCP and the shopping annuity. You don't get it yet. You decide what the sum of money is in the period of time it's going to be in the amount to put in your shopping annuity. If you place only a few negative products with the shop.com MA products, then the amount you receive and payout will be small and take longer to receive. But you'll get it. If you replace everything you currently spend with your uh, competitors and you train your entire team to do the same, you can create the most powerful annuity, and it's called per perpetuity. <laughs> Customers add to it, too. A perpetuity is annuity where the payments you receive continue forever as long as you are in it and alive. Well, with the Market America shopping annuity, it goes on even after you die. And it isn't a fixed payment, it grows with time. So what do you want, a short-term annuity or a massive perpetuity of residual income from spending? Even a financial perpetuity ends when you die and doesn't grow. This grows and it goes on to your family. So in the shopping annuity, the contribution period is shortened. The contribution period of paying in your spending in order to get a return is shortened by the amount of BV and IBV from spending into the MPCP. You should be trying to find every dollar you can that you're spending somewhere else to put into it. Building a group which also duplicates and funds it, multiplies the residual income return and shortens the period of time to collect. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Pay attention. Where else in the world can you turn spending into earning. It's called transfer buying. Pay to shop for cash back for customers is nice. Pay to shop for cash back for customers is nice. But it's gradual and gives a little extra shopping money. Lauren's got 13,000 in her account. Huh? 22,000. You should see my American Express bill. The real paid to shop program, the real paid to shop program for UFOs is the shopping annuity and it's huge. It can yield thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars in income from shopping uh, that you and your team already are doing and saving money on through the MPCP. You can afford to pay attention. So the regular cash back program is nice bait to catch some customers if you know where to fish. So to know where to fish, you gotta know what's on the portal. You gotta know what's on shop.com. You gotta be valuable to people because you know how to get them deals. And look at all these things. Anything somebody can imagine, every brand in the world, 50 million products in the Lucene search to find what you want and compare it to everything else so you get the best deal. But you don't know how to do it. Learn how. Just do it, you see, because you have something extremely powerful. So at any rate, this is a shopping annuity, though. By you doing it and teaching your downline and simply transferring everything that's being bought in your life and household into it, you end up earning a minimum of 2,100 from BV and 1,500 from IBV within a year or two, even if you're slow and had nobody in your group. But for those people who do have people in their group, it's instantaneous. So again, the shopping annuity, the contribution period is shortened by the amount of BV and IBV of transfer spending. When you build a group and duplicate this, it multiplies the residual income. We are using our collective buying power. We have power over the economy. The economy right now is undermining people, ripping them off. We don't need to participate in it. We can have our own economy with our collective buying power by doing everything through this. So, for you guys that already have a group, listen to me. This is the shortest route to a check. Instantaneous, short term, results in one to three months. 
on existing groups and customers before you even recruit more, build more, or sell more. Long term, long term, for the rest of your market America career, it's a paradigm shift. It requires fewer UFOs for you to earn and everybody in your group to earn. It increases sales and customers and multiplies customers. It changes the behavior, the competence, the skills, and shop.com usage and creates a shop consultant because you're doing it to put it on my list. You become familiar with it. You're liking it. You're having fun. You're hitting pay dirt. Now you're an expert. People rely on you in the community because they know you know how to get anything at a better price and get them the best deal. Isn't that a good thing? So here's the climb. Here's what we do, Dennis, the steps. First, you do an assessment. How can you do this if you don't know what you're spending? If you don't know what you're spending what on? You don't know how much you're spending or what you're spending on. You just know that all your money is gone. Well, you want to find where all that money went and make sure you get the same stuff but through Market America and Shop.com so that you convert the spending to get the same things in the earning. Now, how brilliant is that? If you don't get that, please go home now. <laughs> or call your mama and tell them that I'm being mean. Uh, now, Mark is going to show you tomorrow another magician. We have built a virtual shopping consultant, being that you have not learned everything. The virtual shopping consultant takes you through your house and does the assessment. It looks at what products are in the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room, and it finds the replacement of a Market America BV product, shows you the savings, puts it into my list, generates the order, and asks if you want to do auto ship because you're buying it every month. And that's a continuity program. So that triggers by doing the assessment. Now follow this. It's a chain reaction. Listen. It's a chain reaction. If you do the assessment, the virtual shopping consultant kind of becomes automatic because it follows the list. It completes the home shopping list. You narrow it down to what my list is, the things that you want. It generates the order for, from the cart for you, finding the products. You then consider, what should I auto ship? Because I get it every month. There's no use doing this again, right? Then you take it to your PCs and do them a favor for cash back and saving them money. And then you get the what's that phenomena. And I'll go over it in a minute, but the most powerful advertising, promotional, marketing, sales concept and phenomena in the world is what's that? When you're using all the products and you see somebody that has a problem and you use the product that solves that, you can't help but tell them about it. But before you even do, they look at what you're doing, taking that red shot of stuff and then getting some energy, and they say, what's that? And that produce, produces over 100 million dollars worth of sales in this company annually. Just that alone. You get that? Then you duplicate your group. You do assessments with each and every person. That's the goal when we leave Army. We hit the streets and do it ourselves and do it with every person in our group. Why? It's immediate BV and it repeats every month and you're doing them a favor. Then when we come back in a month, we do a home inspection. <laughs> you know the home inspection? You want to get a good grade on that. So look, this is a new religion of the business. Jay-Z raps and JR ramps. <laughs> this is a shopping annuity or transfer buying. And with that, in social shopping, it produces 
a residual income generator. It just cranks out money for you. It's consistent with both old thinking and new thinking. I don't care if you're a baby boomer, an old timer, a pioneer, the old guard. This is what you already believed in. Now we're putting steroids in it. Next level matrix, atomic energy. This is a business now and it creates a shopping annuity that everybody makes money on as a result. It is what we are. You don't get into business and not do this. Paid to shop and cash back for customers. Paid to shop, share and refer is a great concept. And it's a magnet to attract customers for you if you use it. Some use it, some do it some, some don't. But it doesn't matter because you're going to do the shopping annuity. And you decide the sum of money that goes in. So what do you want, a short-term annuity or a massive perpetuity? Original residual income that comes from spending. You don't even need to invest anything. Where else in the world can you turn spending into earning a residual income stream and in perpetuity? Take that one home and memorize it. Now, some of you use cash back and some of you don't. Why? Well, a little extra spending money it produces. Some don't try. You're a creature of habit. You just keep doing the same old thing. You don't really mean anything by it. You don't use the portal or shop.com that much. And there's not enough money for the trouble. So I want you to wake up. The real pay to shop and cash back for UFOs is the shopping annuity not the old cash back program that is for customers. And it's in the NPCP. You say big on Net Market America products, you get customer cash back, big money on the NPCP. 50% of our customers are UFOs. And 50% of our customers are PCs. And the 50% customers UFOs, before you even get to the customers that are PCs, yields you $187,000 per year in perpetuity from two threads. Wake up! <laughs> Some of you are at crossroads. It's time for you to make a decision. You've been confused. Sort it out. You need to decide while you're here. Who are you? How do you define yourself in this organization? What are you? What is your intention? Are you a, am I a UFO or just a distributor? Are you a director? What does it mean to you? How many centers and how many legs do you need? You don't know it, you're not a director. A goal statement, a detailed plan, a dream board. Do you have an MA household? Start there. Are you a lifer or a part-timer and I'll see if it works? I'm a lifer. Dennis is a lifer. And your program belief, and let me tell you something, your actions have to match your belief. If you have negative products in your house, you, are, you don't believe in this. It's a contradiction to what I'm talking about. That creates attitude. That is your identity. That is who you are. And that's why people get in. So programming creates your beliefs. Your beliefs create your attitudes. Attitudes create your feelings. Feelings determine your actions. It's no problem when you feel like doing it. And actions determine your results. And that's why you'll have $187,000 a year coming in, $3,600 a week by the time we reconvene at World at Convention. You gotta believe it. So are you a star in the game? Are you a star in the game? Or are you just in the game? Are you even on the team? Or are you on the bench? Or are you in the bleachers or stands? Or are you outside the stadium not even knowing what's going on? Or are you a fan? Well then be a great fan, like a Duke fan, like a North Carolina State fan, like a, like a Cheesehead fan, a Green Bay fan. Yeah. Who would ever think Baltimore would get to the... Well, I know Big Al's a fan. <laughs> Regenerated volume in a monetized community producing residual income. Read that. Say it. Regenerated volume. Regenerated volume 
in a monetized community producing residual income. That is what the business is about. 